This video is sponsored by Squarespace. First, I'm gonna show you how to create this effect right in Final Cut without any plugins. Then I'm gonna to explain to you why it works. Plus there's a couple pitfalls that people ran into the last time I made this video, I'm gonna address those. So let's get this done quick and dirty. First thing that you're gonna do is come over here to scale and in scale all you're gonna do negative 130. That's gonna flip it upside down. It's also gonna mirror it. Again, I'll explain why after the fact. I zoomed back from the timeline a little bit hold option, click on your clip and drag that over right beside. So now you have the duplicate of the upside down and mirrored clip of the thing that you wanna track. Turn the volume down on that one. Come back here to your original clip, zoom in on your timeline a little bit. And with that clip selected, we're gonna come up here to the inspector and slide down to the bottom, add a tracker. And that brings up this mesh graph net thing, make it smaller and we're gonna put that right on the thing that we want to lock on, stabilize. Come up here to the top left-hand side of the viewer and hit analyze. Not left, not right, right in the middle, analyze in both directions. All right, once that's done, just scroll through, make sure it looks like that thing is really locked on, whatever it is that you're analyzing. Zoom back out in the timeline. The one that we made the duplicate of, we're gonna slide that up on top. Now with that clip selected, we're gonna come up here to the viewer and click on the transform modifier. When you click that, this should pop up. It says transform, it says tracker. If your viewer is too small, it's not gonna pop up. Click on this button right here, which is gonna hide the browser. And then that's gonna make your viewer way bigger. Now when you click on the transform modifier, that is definitely gonna come up. Where it says tracker, that little arrow next to tracker, click on that, on tracker, come down and select this object track. That's the one that we just created. Boom, you can see it mirrored it back. So this is looking good. The only thing that I'm gonna change is I want my headphone to be dead center in the frame. So here in view, I'm gonna click on show horizon. That shows me the dead center of the frame. I'm gonna just slide this x-axis back to the middle and then also the y right back. I want it actually a little bit above center, so that looks good to me. Hit done, hide that horizon, and then let's take a look at this. It's doing a pretty good job What's actually happening is I have the rotation turned on currently. I wanna look at what that looks like without it on. So um, again, this clip is still selected. Come up here and click on this down arrow and, and uncheck rotation. So now it's only gonna track up and down, left and right, not all the, all the rotation. Hit done. Let's see what that looks like. That's more the effect that I'm going for. That is the quick and dirty way to get this done in Final Cut without any plugins. Now the way this works is actually similar to the way that Squarespace works for you while you're sleeping. If you make videos, you need a website. Squarespace is the place to get your website made right on the internet. Got a bunch of professional templates so you don't need to know how to code in order to make something that looks professional. Host your portfolio there book appointments with clients. If you do coaching, consulting, you can run that right through your Squarespace site, all of the scheduling, create a marketplace right within your website so you can sell your products and services right on it. If you wanna try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase. As to why this works, and as to why you need to flip it both horizontally and vertically in order to make it work. When we're tracking an object, we want that object to just stay still. So in the video itself, when the object moves up, we need to tell the video file to move down in the same exact amount that the object has moved up. So the way to do that is when the object moves up, we track that object up, and then we tell the video file to move down that same exact amount. And that is what mirroring the image does. So anytime my ear moves this way, the video file moves back the other way. So it cancels out all of that motion and that's what's creating this effect. I guess at the end of the day, you don't necessarily need to know why it works, just that it does work and that this is available to us inside Final Cut, but that's why it works. We're canceling out motion. On the X axis, 
whenever something moves, let's say 10 pixels to the left, we move it back 10 pixels to the right. Whenever it moves 10 pixels to the right, we're moving it back 10 pixels to the left. That's why we're mirroring both vertically and horizontally so that we can cancel out all of that motion and get our thing to stay right in the middle of the frame. This is a cool effect. I would advise not to overuse it, but it works great for things like Instagram stories. If you just want something eye-catching at the beginning of the video or a cool sequence like this, if you're making a headphone commercial like the original Beats by Dre uh, one that they did, it's sick that we can do this right inside Final Cut. If you made it this far, please leave a comment. Just, just do it, because I just like to read them, you know? I just like that you're here and you're hanging out. Thanks so much for being here.